Hey beautiful people, all praises to the Most High. So this video is about breaking free from spiritual bondage. So if you ever find yourself in your dreams or visions and you're always in a house or you're always in someone's house, you can be in a prison house. In the Bible it's referred to as a prison house. You can be in spiritual bondage, spiritual captivity in your in the spirit realm, not necessarily in the physical realm in the spiritual realm so if you have dreams and visions you're always in a house you're always in someone's house it could possibly mean that you're under spiritual bondage okay so i'm going to give you some scriptures um how to break free from spiritual bondage and actually i'm going to read two scriptures in the bible where it talks about prison houses all right, so Galatians 5, 5 and 1. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ has made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Now, doctrine and covenants. What is an iron yoke? That's a yoke of bondage, okay? Yoke of slavery, yoke of captivity, prison houses, those type of things. Um, it is an iron yoke. It is a, it is a strong band. They are the very handcuffs and chains and shackles and fetters of hell. Now, Isaiah 42 and 22. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all of them snared in holes, and they are hid in prison houses. They are for a prey and none delivers, for a spoil and none says restore. So a lot of people don't know about spiritual bondage. And being in prison houses in their dreams and visions. Um, remember, a man's enemies are they of their own household. And they might see themselves a lot of times in a family's house. And they won't understand that they're actually a prisoner to that family member. Right? So, um, I'm Isaiah 42 and 7. To open the blind eyes, to bring out the prisoners from the prison, and them that sit in darkness out of the prison house so for you to sit in darkness is not to be aware as well right because to be enlightened to have light is to be enlightened about the things you should know it light sheds um shines through the darkness so if you're sitting in darkness and you're in a prison house that means you're unaware you understand that you're even in a prison house spiritual bondage is very tricky because a lot of people don't know that they're in a in a prison house and a lot of the times because it's family members and friends they think it's a friendly dream when it's actually a it's a dream attack right doctrine and covenants um 109 and 32 to 33 therefore we plead before thee for a full and complete deliverance from under this yoke break it off O lord break it off from the necks of thy servants by thy power that we may rise up in the midst of this generation and do thy work so that is a good precept to get free from bondage from spiritual bondage and slavery okay and doctrine and covenants 104 and 82 and as much as you are humble and faithful and call upon my name Behold, I will give you the victory, and I will give unto you a promise that you shall be delivered this once out of your bondage. Isaiah 10 and 27. And it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder, and his yoke from off thy neck, and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. So these are good precepts to break free from slavery, bondage, captivity, both physical and spiritual. Now, Jeremiah 30 and 8, For it shall come to pass in that day, says the Lord of hosts, that I will break his yoke from off thy neck, and I will burst thy, ba thy bonds, and strangers shall no more serve themselves of him. Now, home 1 and 13, For now will I break his yoke from off thee, and will burst thy bonds in sunder. Moses 1 and 26, And lo, I am with thee, even unto the end of thy days. For thou shalt deliver my people from bondage, even Israel my chosen. Mosiah 25 and 8, For they knew not what to think, for when they beheld those that had been delivered out of bondage, they were filled with exceedingly great joy. Doctrine and Covenants 38 and 18, And I hold forth in design dying to give unto you greater riches a land of promise a land flowing with milk and honey 
upon which there shall be no curse when the Lord cometh. Doctrine and Covenants 128 and 22. Brethren, shall we not go on in so great a cause? Go forward and not backward. Courage, brethren, on, on to the victory. Let your hearts rejoice and be exceedingly glad. Let the earth break forth into singing. Let the dead speak forth anthems of eternal praises to the King Emmanuel, who has ordained before the world was that which would enable us to redeem them out of their prison, for the prisoners shall go free. So in Co Doctrine and Covenants, it says King Emmanuel. And it says King Emmanuel, who has ordained before the world was that which would enable us to redeem them out of their prison, for the prisoners shall go free. Alma 29 and 11, yeah. And I also remember the captivity of my fathers, for I surely do know that the Lord did deliver them out of bondage, and by this did establish his church. Yeah, the Lord God, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob did deliver them out of bondage. Yeah, I have always remembered the captivity of my fathers, and that same God who delivered them out of the hands of the Egyptian did deliver them out of bondage. Yeah, and that same God did establish his church among them. Yeah, and that same God had called me by a holy calling to preach the word unto this people and has given me, giving me much success in the which my joy is full. Mosea 24 and 13. And it came to pass that the voice of the Lord came to them in their affliction, saying, Lift up your heads and be of good comfort. For I know of the covenant which you have made unto me, and I will, cov will covenant with my people and deliver them out of bondage. Doctrine and Covenants 103 and 17. For you are the children of Israel and the seed of Abraham, and you must needs be led out of bondage by power and with a stretched out arm. And as your fathers were led at the first, even so shall the redemption of Zion be. Daughter Zion. Doctrine and covenants 109 and 63 and the yoke of bondage may begin to be broken off from the house of david those are scriptures to help you break free from spiritual bondage have a blessed evening